Welcome. In this chapter, we're going to talk about smart objects and um, creating actions. Now, what are smart objects? Smart objects are layers that contain image data from raster or vector images. Smart objects preserve an image's source content. So basically, no matter what you do to the image, it still retains its original um, content. Now, there are certain things you can't do to smart objects, and you can't do operations that alter the pixel's data such as painting, dodging, burning, or cloning. Now we're going to explain this here so we can understand what smart objects are just a little bit more. Um, we have um, a picture of some red roses here and it says open image. Well before we click open image press your shift key and this will turn this into an open object within camera raw. So now click on it with the shift key, let go of the shift key and this will now open the same image in Photoshop but it is now a smart object as indicated with this icon in this layer. Now the next thing I want you to do is press Control J. Control J will duplicate it. You can drag this to um, the new layer and this will make a new one. Then I want you to right click and choose rasterize the layer. This rasterizes the layer. Another way to rasterize a layer from a smart object is either choosing it like we just did, flattening it, or on output. Now we have a smart object and we have a regular layer. Next thing I'm going to do is go to image, canvas size, and I'm going to actually, yeah, I'm going to increase the size all the way around, let's say by 800, so we're not worried about the canvas size. And then I'm going to create, press control, which will put it underneath and then control backspace and fill that with white so that way we can just see it better okay so now I'm gonna go back to my move tool because I'm gonna select this image and then move this image over and the reason I can select these easily is because I have auto select on so this is the smart object and this is the regular image now let's reduce their size both of them so I'm gonna click on the excuse me I've got it reversed I want the smart object on my left, sorry. <laughs> okay, click on the smart object and then press Control T, which will bring up the transform controls. Click on this little link here and then we'll reduce the size. It doesn't matter to what. And then press the check mark to commit. Let's do the same thing to the regular layer. Okay. Okay. So, so far, okay, no problems. Now, let's, re let's uh, make them back to the original shape. I'm going to go back to the smart object, press Control T, and you'll notice that the width and height fields are, they remember, so I'm just going to press 100, enter, and commit it, and you can see the original flowers look really nice. Now, I'm going to go to my regular layer, press Control T, and you can see it doesn't remember, so you know something's not right already. And then I'm just going to increase the size and then commit. And this is a perfect example of the difference between a smart object and a regular layer. Look at the smart object. We reduced it and then we enlarged it and it still kept the original um, contents or the original image data of these roses. Beautiful. Let's look at a regular layer. We reduced it, no problem. We enlarged it, problem. because on a regular layer you can you cannot invent um, invent data that isn't there so this is what causes the blurring of the image and the loss of detail now in the next lesson we're going to show you something more about smart objects